I'm Dong In Jung, a student at Sangyongwan University. The topic I will be presenting today is complementary performance improved crystalline end of carbon encapsulated cobalt iron and major porous end of graphene form as bifunctional catalyst. In this study, we conducted research on how to increase energy conversion efficiency in the future. In energy conversion, we conducted a study on a hybrid materials that can be applied to a metal air battery at the cathode by reacting by functional catalyst, oxygen evolution reaction, and oxygen reduction reaction. We used metaporous end of graphene form as a substrate to maximize the catalytic reaction and synthesize the catalytic materials by hybridizing cobalt iron transition metal compounds to increase the active site. We conducted the following analysis to verify the performance and pace of the synthesized catalyst materials. Through T TM analysis, it was confirmed that the cobalt iron, iron compounds grew well on the graphene form used as the substrate, and the end of carbon shell was well formed on the surface of the cobalt iron compounds. In addition, it can be seen that cobalt iron PBA was well formed through XRD analysis, and end of carbon shell was formed from the CN group possessed by Prussian blue analog. Through XPS analysis, it was possible to confirm the chemical state of cobalt ion to act as a catalyst. At this time, it was found that the valence state has the highest efficiency as a catalyst when heat treated at 700 degrees. When the electrochemical properties were analyzed based on the theoretical research, it was confirmed that the oxygen evolution reaction LSV curve showed that showed the best performance of 330 millivolts. Besides that, tepal flow, ECSA, and Nyquist plot values prove everything. In uh, oxygen reduction reaction LSV curves, 0.87 volts show lower performance than PTC, but KL plot proved that electromobility is the best. Through the above experiments, we have verified the performance of next generation energy conversion catalyst materials and prove the possibility of more efficient and durable catalyst materials through hybrid materials.